What up, though, YouTube? It is your good friend, Zachary, checking in for a new video and yet another chest workout. Um, for whatever reason lately, it seems like I am uploading chest workouts and doing voiceovers of them constantly. Um, I don't know the exact, um, you know, percentage of chest workouts that I have on my channel, but I have a lot. And it's cool because those usually get the most views and you guys always ask for more chest workouts, so... Um, in this one though, I went into the gym and I was expecting to max out and I did end up maxing out. Um, I wouldn't say I hit my PR or anything because previously before this, I hit 285 pounds and that was my PR in terms of bench pressing, but I do not count it because I don't have it on film, so... Currently, I count my PR as being 275 because that is all that I have on film. Um, and I'm one of those people who, you know, if it's not on film, then it doesn't really count. You know, if no one was there to see it, then it doesn't really count. That kind of a thing. But a few people were commenting on a few videos back. Um, and they told me I should just attempt 315. They said, get a spotter and go for 315 just, just to show us where you're at Zach to show us how close you can get and I didn't have a spotter but I had the safety racks as you can see um and I was planning on going up to 315 but you will see that I get up to 295 and that shit was not going up um you'll see in a couple of sets you can tell right now I'm warming up and before this you saw I was using the resistance bands and there was a reasoning to that um whenever I use those resistance bands and warm up with them it just feels like the weight will shoot up so much faster once I get to my heavy actual pressing. So I don't know the exact like um, resistance of those bands, but I just I, it may have been a bad idea to do before maxing out because um, obviously I may have ended up taking away from what I could be pressing. That first attempt at 295, I got pretty damn close. Um, I go for a second attempt right here, and I don't even get halfway, so this was a terrible attempt. And this right here, this third attempt, is the final attempt total. And you can see how it goes. I thought I, I, thought I had it that time. When I got under the bar, I was ready to press that shit up, but you can tell um, I did not get 295 pounds. Now, in a couple of videos back, people were commenting on my bench press form. And they were saying that I could make some minor changes, such as like putting more of an arch in my back, taking more of a um, a closer grip on the bar, and not only that, but stuff like bringing my feet back and everything like that. And I understand that, and I am more powerful if I make adjustments like that. But I want to be able to bench 315 using my my bodybuilding bench press form that I've I've did ever since I started. Um, I really tried to perfect it early on to really put all of the tension possible on my chest and with every exercise that I do in terms of chest I have really put emphasis on using my chest muscles I mean you should try to do that if you're a bodybuilder that's the point of using certain exercises to build the physique um, so I don't really want to alter my bench press form too much because you know at that point if I were to do that it's gonna completely take away from my chest development in my opinion, you know, I'm probably overthinking it, but that's my reasoning to that. That's why I use the form that I use. It's because I feel my chest doing the most work possible um, with that form. And at that 295 pounds even, you guys, all of that tension is going to my chest. Um, I feel my arms work somewhat, my triceps a little bit, but the, <clears throat> excuse me, the main thing pushing that weight up was my chest because of the type of form that I utilize. Now if I were to bring in a closer grip my arms probably could take over quite a bit and I would probably add like 10-15 pounds to my bench press possibly but I prefer the form that I am using and that is my reasoning for that. So after doing the bench pressing you saw that I did some dumbbell work. I did three working sets in total which is a lot less volume than what I'm normally used to. I believe I went from the 90s to 105s to the 115s, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what weights I was using, but after that I did three sets with the pullovers, 
the dumbbell pullovers as you're seeing right now. And I went really heavy with these. I never go as heavy as what I went in this workout. Um, I felt pretty damn strong for whatever reason, but I believe I went like um, 90s, 110s, and then 120s. And I never go that heavy and lower repetitions. So from there, staying on the same bench and doing some dumbbell flies with my, my feet elevated. And not really going extremely heavy with these. These are probably like 35 maybe 30 pound dumbbells actually and going anywhere from like 10 to 15 repetitions and I did three sets of this again only three sets I did not do any warm in two sets or anything like that so that was it for chest much lower volume than what I am used to but trying to do that max um, really took a lot out of me and I may have did a couple of sets too many with the warm up so Next time that I attempt it, I won't do as many warm-up sets, most likely, and I'll probably take a few weeks before I try doing that again, obviously, as well. So, after doing chest, you're seeing some triceps. I'm doing a skull crusher superset with this um, close grip press, and I think this is the only set that I filmed of this. That was like a 110-pound easy curl bar, and from there, I went to this dip machine, and this was the last exercise. Um, I went too light with this set right here. It's obviously a little bit too easy for me. But I was getting close to maxing out the machine. And um, really going based off of feel, I think I went anywhere from 8 to 20 repetitions with this dip machine. As I got a little heavier, I tried to control the tempo of the, the actual set itself a little bit more. Um, you can see I'm really focusing on contracting the living shit out of that tricep. And it really doesn't take a whole lot to do, um, to, to finish off the tries after doing so much pressing. Um, I find that the pressing itself is a workout for the triceps, so you don't have to do a whole lot of isolation. But with me being such a high volume type person, you gotta do a lot of isolation. So, that was a workout you guys. Um, hopefully you're enjoying this sexy mofo right here and those veins popping out of the deltoid and bicep. That's the video. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys all so much. Let me know what you want to see next. Peace out. Bye.